Okay, so what are you going to do over the long holiday vacation? You are going to find a fun excuse to stay up late with bedtime math. I mean, what do you think, Jackson? Tell me about bedtime math and what you think about it. And then you, his dad, Robert, tell me why you think bedtime math is, you know, what, 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 why do you think it's fun? What, what do you, you know? So first, Jackson, you've looked through the books. Um, you know, you've, you've, you've used some of it. You've been staying up late, reading it. Oh, show that little flashlight, by the way. It's really cute. Yeah. Wait, show it. It's for, it's for reading it at night. Yeah, wait, wait, click it so you could... So you can read under your covers. So you can read under your covers, yeah. I love like it. Like I used to do. Right. Listen to the radio under the covers. <laughs> right. Okay, so tell me, why do you... Wait, first show me the book. Can you show it to me? And like... So these are two books. It's bedtime math. Yeah. This time it's personal. Ooh, that's cute. And oh, look what he's doing under the covers. Yeah. See, you, you could have fun at night reading, but you could, you know, be actually learning too. And this is bedtime math, a fun excuse to stay up late. But the, but the truth is, is that bedtime math, um, they're they're a company, and if you can get it, you know, just let me just while you go look for your stuff, I'll just you can just show it online here. You can go to bedtimemath.org, and you can find all these cool resources and how you can actually start a bedtime math club at your school. Um, but let's go over to Jackson. So Jackson, so tell me, what did you think of? Bedtime math, and um, why would you recommend it as like a great thing to do? Because a lot of the chapters are really funny. Like first you read a story, then then you put yourself to the challenge. So can you show me one of the challenges that you did and what you thought was cool about it? Okay. Um. So I just opened up to a random page. Oh, that's good. Um, buck stops here, and then there's a picture of a buck. Yeah. yeah. It's. It's in the chapter of sports you shouldn't try at home. Okay. <laughs> you love sports and yeah. you love math. And there's a lot of math in sports. Yeah. Hmm. A lot of statistics, a lot of uh, yardage. And so you need to know math yeah. for sports. So so they have they have three sections. It could either be like toddlers and first first to third graders and then Older kids. And you're an older kid. Oh, so yeah. so, th so basically this book is for, it could be for all ages. Yeah. So are you classy, so you're not a toddler anymore? No. <laughs> you're a big kid now. <laughs> no, I wanted to be a toddler. Grade. Oh, God. Okay, so wait, fourth grade. Okay, so tell me, so what what was your, tell me, give me some, give me some things you've learned from the bedtime math. Um, there's a lot of multiplication. But is it worky? Do you feel like it's worky? Or is it fun? Is it like, it makes it fun, right? Yeah, math, it makes math fun. No, but does it really make math fun? Are you just saying that because you're on video? Yes, it does. <laughs> okay. You're always asking me math problems. And well, well, so so then so then show me the book and tell me like what sh show me the book and you know g give me some ideas of what you've what you've done at, at night while you're under the covers and you're reading these math books. Winging it? Oh, flying! Oh, 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 that's a good one. Read me one of the. Read me one of these things. And yeah. So, so what is this one? If you're flying at 180 miles per hour, then slow down to 120 miles an hour to open your parachute. God, how many miles an hour did you slow down? I mean, that one's pretty easy. Oh, so wait. So what's the answer to that? Sixty. Nice. That's, the, that's for that's little big, kids. No, that's the big kids. What? Oh, that was for big kids. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. so you're you're smart because actually I that kind of went right over my head. I, I didn't really know that. So <laughs> I'm gonna need to. I think that I could use some of this bedtime math myself, right? Robert, read me. Can you tell me just? Um, you can just read a little bit of this just so we can for parents that want to know more about bedtime math and how to get involved. Oh, he doesn't have his reading glasses. Oh, no. Kids need to read, but they also need to do math. And uh, they can get math skills. It's, it's for all different age kids. Yeah. And uh, you can have a lot of fun with it. You, you, you can have fun with math and explore. So if you want, so basically, oh, oh can you read this to me? One of their favorites is Mammals on the Run. Yeah, why don't you read it to me? 
Sure, you can ride your bike or drive a car to get to places, but wouldn't it be more interesting to ride on your favorite animal? Of course, you sure you wouldn't pick a turtle or a snail as a ride. A bear can run 30 miles per hour. An antelope can run 55 miles per hour, but the fastest, the cheetah, can sprint at up to 60 miles per hour. The question is, which one is willing to take you to the park? <laughs> so, basically, I think that this is definitely a great way for kids to learn about math, but make it fun. Um, I'm actually learning some new things, too. You can, with bedtimemath.org, you can, um, the, the camera's not getting it, but you can lead a fun math club, you can try a fun math problem, you can read a fun math book, download a fun math app, or watch a fun math video. So, go to bedtimemath.org. Show me those books again. Let me just open up to this. Okay. Oh, you want to see one? So, this, so, this, this, so these are two books. This first one is Bedtime Math, A Fun Excuse to Stay Up Late. And then this one is, oh, this is a cute one. Fun in your mouth or your arm. So read me, what is this? Oh, this is cute. Okay. Which is longer, your hand or your whole arm? Ooh. So now you actually have to see which is longer. See, these are cool questions that it asks, that, that things oh, you wouldn't think about. That's that, the wee ones, because that's easy. But it, it's stuff you wouldn't, like, think about, you know? Yeah. And, and But everything has math in it. So if you think about these... If you actually had five eyes instead of two, how many eyes would you have more than you do now? Oh, let's look at the bonus. If you're seven times taller as your seven-inch tall head, how tall are you? 49 inches, because that's multiplication. Good job! Okay, we go to the next page, let's see. Because this is the personal one, it's not like, if you nailed it, nailed it. <laughs> how, nails. Yeah, how many fingernails do you have on one hand? Cap them with the grown-up. Oh my gosh, this is the wee one. So go to the big kids, but these are good for little kids. It's great skills. What does the big kid say? I'll do a bonus. Okay. If you've already gone seven months without clipping your nails and you decided to go another three years to see what happens, for how many months total did you did you, did you skip nail clipping? Seven months. Okay, that's gross, by the way. But it's gross because that's what makes me have fun is that it's kind of grossy, <laughs> fun stuff. So how would you do that problem? How would you do that problem, Jackie? Um, first you do 12 times 3. Right. It's 36. And plus seven is forty-three. So forty-three. You're good. So, what do you think? Would you recommend this to be kind of a cool thing to do yeah, over the long holiday? I like it. You like it. Yeah. So, bedtimemath.org gets your big thumbs up. <laughs> All right, and go to the Staten Island family for more fun and find out um, more fun math problems and ways to make your vacation. Yeah. Long, your long vacation, not just about watching TV, but learning. Yeah. Learning!